In late 2018, I lived in Los Angeles for three months to film a 10-episode series. It was a reality show about millennials and money. It's called Going From Broke. It was produced by Ashton Kutcher, Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment, and, and Matador Content. And it was an incredible experience. I've never done a TV show before, so that was my first time doing something like that. And, and it was around a topic that I'm incredibly passionate about, which is money and millennials specifically and how they can create their own path to financial freedom. So I worked with 10 people with a co-host to help them figure out what their path to financial freedom included, whether that was paying down student loan debt, credit card debt, how to start a business, all different aspects of how to make and manage money and grow money as well. And, and it was incredibly rewarding because I got to help people. And also I learned a lot about what it means to be able to communicate effectively on camera, which is different than when you're talking one-on-one -on -one with someone or even doing public speaking and talking to a large group of people. So I learned a lot about the TV world. I learned a little bit about what being behind camera looks like. There's a lot that goes into making a TV show, a lot of people involved. And, and that was really interesting to learn about the business side of that. And I how I got to do that show was magical. <laughs> a friend that uh, I have never met, we've only connected on Twitter, actually. She sent me a Twi a tweet, <laughs> a Twitter message saying that there was an audition in LA and she knew that I was uh, writing about money. I love writing about money and millennials specifically. And she said that the show was about millennials and money. I took a look at it. And it's funny because I didn't have the requirements. They had a list of requirements and I didn't check all the boxes, but I thought, oh, why not? I, they, they can say no. Um, that's fine. And I sent in my information, incomplete as it was, because they asked for things like a reel. I don't have a reel. They asked for a TV experience. I certainly don't have that. But what I did have was a background in finance, and they said that they wanted someone who can connect with people and could have empathy. And I thought, that's me. I've got empathy for days. And so I sent in my application. And 15 minutes later, the casting director called me, said he loved my work, wanted to hop on the phone. So he called me. And, and then after that, I went through a series of four interviews. I met with the producers. I met with um, who would be my potential, who would be my co-host. And then after those four interviews, I, I ended up getting, getting the opportunity.